brother, it's time for us to start talking the real man. We've been sugarcoating too much, we've got to start calling everything out for what it is. Hi, I'm here with the Bedoad Blitz and unfortunately I have some maintenance that I need to do on this wheel. This wheel has 193 miles on it. When I received it from New York, it had about 160 miles on it. Not a lot of miles, obviously. As you saw from the intro, uh, I was doing some trail, mountain trail riding on this. Not, by, by no means, not uh, single track, really super rocky type trails, just moderate trail riding so not excessive vibrations but um, very shortly after I started riding I was experiencing vibrations that just got worse over time Orig initially I started noticing a little something came to m my attention when I was trawling it over some bumps seemed to be making maybe a bit more noise and then um, soon after that as I would do any kind of braking or downhill where I'm not applying full force, moving ahead, it would, I'd be getting vibrations and it got worse and worse until like what you saw in the video or <laughs> like that <laughs> when I was breaking. Those are all classic signs of a loose suspension or something loose between the motor and uh, the chassis. Typically it's the motor uh, bolts or the stanchions that the wheel moves up and down on. So something's loose. Hopefully it's gonna be that and it won't be too difficult to uh, fix. I haven't opened the blitz yet, so I get to do that, hooray. <laughs> hopefully I don't have to open much and hopefully I don't have to take off the batteries uh, to get to what I need to tighten up. I'm gonna uh, remove these center panels and uh, hopefully that, that'll provide all the access I need. Get the wheel on the table and start the operation. I'm assuming these screws along the center are what I need to remove. They're two and a half millimeter. It's loose, but I don't know how to use these flanges. That are keeping it from lifting out. It's almost like I have to slide it. If I do that, I have to take off the top. This, which I'd rather not do. I do have to take this off to get the center panel off. That's going to take, looks like 10 screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this is a wood screw, and there's another screw under the headlight that attaches this to this piece of plastic. That's a wood screw. So we're back to wood screws. Another reason not to like plastic. These are the set screws that apply some tension to these bushings in here that these tubes, stanchions ride up and down on. So there's one here and one here, and let's see. Okay, totally loose. <laughs> uh, so far, by the way, all the 
not including the wood screws, which by their very nature have tension. All these other screws I've been removing are like not torqued or anything. And they have, they always have, um, let's see. You probably, maybe you can see it in the camera, the blue. They all have this, which is, from my experience, useless. It's like they put this on here. They think it worked. They pre what they do is they pre-apply all this Loctite, and I don't. I'm not convinced it's actual Loctite. Some kind of thread lock where they pre-apply it. It's dry, and then they use them on the wheels, and it, it doesn't do anything. Every time I've taken those things off, maybe not every time, but mostly, they're loose. They, they it doesn't work. They need to apply some high quality thread locker because all these screws just came out really easy. No thread locker here. So uh, this is just loose. Hard to know how much tension to apply, but uh, I'm going to I'll, uh, test the wheel without putting this back on to see if I can tell the difference. This is loose also. Apply some attention. I'm gonna. I'm just doing this right now, but I'm gonna come back and take these out and put some uh, thread locker. And then here are. I can get access to two of the two of the bolts, motor bolts. So I'm gonna use a five millimeter wrench here and see if. They're loose. Okay, this one's feels tight. No, nope, doesn't want to move. There's one here. This is loose. Not super loose, but loose. So I'm going to I'm going to take these out. Apply thread lock. Actually, <laughs> let me pull in the camera and show you something. I had to position the camera looking from the bottom of the wheel up to show you this, but here are two of the bottom bolts, motor bolts. All right, and I'm going to have to take this apart more to get access to those, but then this bolt here you can see it's not um, it's not screwed down at all it's about um, a centimeter away from being fully tight or just attached it looks it feels kind of tight but actually I can turn it so either it's cross threaded something kept it from being tightened and of course whoever was assembling the wheel they felt the tension and then they, they just stopped. So this one of the three was not tight, was not even essentially not even attached. Other one is kind of a little bit loose and then I'll have to check these two. I'll have to take the wheel further apart to get access to it. But I can kind of see right now, right here, there's a gap in this washer. Looks like it's probably not fully tightened. And this is all just on one side of the wheel. I don't know exactly what I need to take apart here to get access to these motor bolts, but I figure I have to take out the pedal and I figure I have to take out the pedal hanger and go from there. All right, let's bring in the camera and show you what this looks like. Well, hopefully you can see now what this, this is uh, this screw. That's how it was. Uh, <laughs> it was basically backed up and it was uh, hitting this, this piece of rubber. That's what kept it from just coming all the way out. 
this one loose. That's what it was like. This one's barely tight. And this one's barely tight. So they're all loose and they all have uh, lock washers, which I think in this situation do nothing. You need to put uh, Loctite thread locker, not permanent thread locker, just um, regular old thread locker. Blue Loctite, and that's what I'll be doing now. And I have a feeling the other side is going to be the same way. Flipped the wheel over, so I reassembled everything on this side, put it on the ground, turned the wheel on, and I shook it back and forth, and all the looseness appears to be gone, because uh, before I started this operation, I did that, and I could hear a thunk, 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 thunk when I uh, moved it back and forth. I forgot to record that, but um, I don't hear anything now, so maybe it was just that one side, but obviously if I've gone through all this effort, It'd be kind of silly not to just take this side apart. And uh, if nothing else, apply Loctite where there probably is no Loctite. So uh, I'll uh, get back to you if I find anything interesting on this side. These uh, two little set screws that apply pressure against the bushing here were, uh, this one's basically loose. The other one up top was but didn't seem loose. And this side of course has only three bolts because the phase cable comes through. But this is this is a state. This uh, lock washer down here is not compressed. Same with this one. Same with this one. So essentially loose but not nearly as bad as the other side. I will take these out and apply thread locker and tighten everything up and uh, put it back together. Ah, all back together and feels great. No more knocking. Everything's tightened up. Ah, well that was a few hours out of my life. Uh, it just comes with the territory, particularly if you buy a big old wheel. Uh, you know, time and time again, you're gonna, you're just gonna continue to hear these stories, and you're hearing it from me. Loose motor bolts. I don't know how many times I've heard stories about the loose motor bolts on the wheels. And uh, oh, that's big old life. <laughs> All right, so this is good. I can continue uh, riding. Have fun with it. Hope you uh, got something out of this video. And until next time, safe riding.